Welcome, Spark. So what kind of Spark are you? A player? A creator? Or both? The stories yet to be told. The games to be made. Civilizations and societies to be formed. The universe is waiting for you to bring it to life. Now, how do we begin? Alright, there we go. Hey community, welcome to another Thursday creation stream. Uh, not too bad on time today. I thought I'd be a little bit late, but I'm, I'm pretty much there. Maybe one or two minutes. Um, anyway, uh, let's just get right into it. What are we doing? We are checking out a uh, community creation this week, and that is called Pine Forest by Rapture One. So let me just pull it up in the feeds here. And uh, like usual, we are going to play the original first, check it out, and then we're going to check out all the remixes that you guys made up. Look at all these remixes. I think we have had the most remixes um, yet so far. I think it's like nine or so. Um, let's, everything this is going to be slow loading in here, but this is by Rapture One. It should be the original, and yeah, just wait on creator names. There we go. Yep. So we got uh, Affinity. Looks like we have Project Sparker, Roots, Combat of Quill, Deforestation, the game, um, with Stew, and so on and so forth. So we are we got a lot um, to look at. So we're gonna get right to it. Uh, we might not play this one because it's a zero percent, uh, and it's older than the stream. So we're not gonna play that one. But we have <laughs> the rest. Um, so there you go. All right. And do it. Oh, and then let me make sure that uh, audio, visual is good, all of that jazz, that you're, you're not listening to the Spark theme drowning me out. All right. Pine Forest by Rapture One. So this is an environment with different trees and plants assemblies. Explore the island to see all the assemblies, remix it, use it to create a game or movie. This also has a basic day and night cycle, so you can see the environment, and so forth. Alright, that's right, you play as Conquer. Find the 16 hidden treasure chests. No, I want my... Okay, uh, I want an SMG. Okay, so you can... It looks like you can switch between those. Um, maybe I'll just... I'll just go with the bat. Okay. I don't know, uh, Rapture, I think you've had the most participation so, so far on this one. Um... So the main thing that we're checking out here is really this environment. So you have this like island. We'll take a look at it and remix to you like the so we have the overview, but the main thing is just the how interesting the environment is. You got these nice flowers, you got the custom trees everywhere. Let's uh let's run around and see if we can find a couple of treasure chests. Here's one. Boom. Open up. And okay, you got the coin, cool. There's 16 of them. Uh, I think this is before uh, Rapture knew how to do the the collect logic, because uh, I know he was able to, he added it later um, with uh, the Santa Claus game that he made and was featured uh, before we we're trying to find different presents, so um, that would actually be a good, <laughs> I wonder if anybody actually remixed that in, or maybe even Rapture himself did, but um, all right, so let's, let's discover, see what we can discover here. You got a nice waterfall. Um, you got to always check behind the, the waterfall. Uh, is there anything? Yep, yep, see, told you. Always gotta check behind a waterfall. In no, yep. Any game, uh, if the first waterfall you encounter, you like always have to check behind it. And if there's nothing behind it, I get really disappointed. <laughs> I'm just, it's like a, it's like a requirement that there's something behind a waterfall. So just know that if you put a waterfall someplace, um, expect to also hide something behind it. So you got a nice snowy peak, peak there. Uh, these, all these different trees. I got rocks in. Uh, let's see if there's anything on this little outcropping peninsula here. Yep. Hidden in the jungle here. All right. And I think that let's see if uh, let's see if we can go up high. Let's get a nice um, elevation standpoint. See if we can get a good look at the island from the top here and kind of go along this path. Da, 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 up the mountain and we'll follow it this way oh, okay so there's that there's that night uh, night cycle kicking in here's another treasure chest so I believe that's my fourth one and anything else Let's see 
Always peaks are a good place to hide stuff too. Um, possibly over there. I guess we'll we'll skip that. I don't think I'm gonna find all 16 on stream. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, okay. Jump down here. Got a nice uh, waterfall right there too. It's probably not another one that's behind it. Um, if he is, that's pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. Um, and while I do have your guys' attention and we're looking at the first one too, I do want to remind everybody that uh, we have two more streams in like the next 24 hours basically. Uh, so it's very busy. Ooh, treasure chest. Um, we have uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. We're playing in Creations. It's the Developer's Game Jam 3rd edition. So we'll be playing uh, the majority of the ones that we haven't played from the top 20. And then we will uh, shortly have another stream at 5 p.m. Pacific time, so I guess that's six hours after that one, or I guess it'd be five hours after that one concludes. Um, we will be doing a special stream to announce our Developers Game Jam winners, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, ooh, cool, and a remix just got up apparently, so I'll make sure to play that one too. Um, but there you go, that's, that's the gist of it, right? So um, hunting around, it's this really neat and inspiring environment. It's, uh, you know, this island all around got the path in the mountains so now let's take a look at remixes oh I guess we'll, we'll we should look at this in edit mode first just so you can get an eyeball glimpse so this is this is what we're looking at this is you can see those are the two peaks I was, was kind of uh, I think I started over here climbed up this path yep here there is a treasure chest I found um, hidden away and I walked along the ridge here at the top and there's that waterfall across this little bridge right here um, and then you got the other the other peak so there you go and I think we yeah we spawned right over here here's a little conquer so but that's the gist you got this really nice inland uh, river too which we didn't even uh, see because we didn't walk on this other side of the mountain that's always cool I love to see uh, kind of this the coat the you know the ocean shore shore kind of coming up on over um, <laughs> yeah and uh, let's take a quick look. See, there's a bunch of different custom trees here. Um, let's just do a couple point out. So there's this guy. There's this one, which is actually uh, Castle Roofs, I'm pretty sure, is in partly in here. Then you got the hay. So I think there's kind of these three main ones um, using different styles. I'll put this one in front because it's smaller. So you got the this, this crazy one, this conquer one with a ton of different branches and leaves. Um, and so, well, I should say the Conquer, uh, some of the Conquer props I think are used in here. Um, and then you got this hay one on the snag, and then you got this larger one using the castle, castle roofs um, recolored. And I think that's the majority of the different ones. Um, so castle roofs, hay, and those different branches. I'm assuming uh, the the conquer branch ones are the ones that are the most prop intensive. So, and then it looks like uh, you got even a couple regular trees in here too. <laughs> Just uh, it looks like they're lightened up a little bit. Um, I think, yeah, looks like the majority. So I think it's those different ones. All right. Let's go on and check out remixes now. So hopefully everybody put their changes in descriptions so I'm not totally lost here. Um, and for my sanity's sake, I'm just gonna go in order. Uh, I might uh, mess this up, but we'll see. So Affinity, so by Project Sparker. So I wonder if this is like a sequel to Infinity, right? Of Project Sparker fame. Um, turn down the lights and find out where Infinity takes you. In this music video, watch as time is flowing rapidly and galaxies are repetitively getting destroyed and created from the center of the black hole. Well, I don't think this is a remix that uh, Rapture was uh, expecting, so there you go. <laughs> um, again, I'm not going to be able to hear the audio um, for myself, but you guys will be able to, so I won't pause it or anything. I know that I can get things out of sync. But other than that, I'm just going to play and expect it to be uh, playing something. And I think after a minute or two, I will, uh, um, unless I'm advised by chat that there's something else. Looks like Project Sparkers in chat with us. Uh, otherwise, I will uh, um, end it. So let's go. Let's do it. 
I wonder, is this, yeah, I wonder if this is like the unofficial sequel. <laughs> Affinity is very uh, similar name to Infinity. I'm curious on how it's going to incorporate Rapture's like creation and landscape. Excited. So I have a prompt now to press A. Um, sweet. And it's, oh, should I hit A yet? I don't know. This is kind of interesting. So I, this is like the you know the affinity effect that we're we've all got I think gotten accustomed to seeing before, which is just super awesome. Um, and it looked like those questions were extremely fast at the very beginning. Um, so sorry if you might have, might have to pause that in the video to read those. All right, let's go. Ooh, that was a that was a really cool effect. That was. So now I can fly around. It looks like I got a prompt to restart um, uh, the song too. And apparently, so I know this was made on Xbox. Uh, so I think the performance and kind of runs it way different. So some of the timing might be a little bit off. So you got this like crater. Yeah, I can't hear anything right now. So sorry, my mouth might just be moving and you can't hear me. What? This is cool. I think that's that terrain thing, right? Where there's, uh, you like delete terrain. I think that's terrain. Uh, okay. Um, this is sweet. So you got the two mountain. Oh, oh, I'm flying outside of the thing. Um, so you got the two mountain peaks here. And then you get the whole forest lit up, so like all the trees are now um, have this feature on it. Oh, this guy, this skybox thing is like so cool. I don't even know how that's like done. And then it's like there's certain effects, but how they disappear, I don't know. That's just really sweet because the way it works is like you have to look at it at a certain angle, right? Um, yeah, that is cool. Okay, if I hit A. <laughs>
what does this look like now in edit mode? So you should all hopefully be able to hear me now, um, being an edit. So you, it's a pitch black sky. <laughs> you guys are trolling me so bad right now. Uh, day clear and brightness is like all the way gone too. I'm just curious. I want to see if we can get a good idea. This is such a it's a visual, um, you know, crazy thing going on. And I want to see if we can kind of get an idea of what was happening during all that visual experience. So largely, right, this this uh, this whole landscape was untouched. And then, right, the whole the whole area that was generated, I'm pretty sure it's creating terrain and then deleting a certain size, and it creates that pattern. Um, it's very like if I go, I know you, I know you guys don't necessarily expect me to teach stuff on here, but let's see if I can reproduce this real quick. So I have a, I have a big sphere like this, and I drop some terrain like that, and if I go and just do a tiny, like, uh, let's see if I can. Oh yeah, scale. Uh, like okay let's see 96 I delete it you get this pattern um, if you put it right in the exact same spot with these floaty bits and that is uh, how I think that was accomplished of course he had a much more regular pattern established so I don't know if it's because of how the size is generated obviously um, I don't think you were able to generate that large of a you know thing through code of terrain before um, at least without totally breaking spark <laughs> so I'm, I'm impressed if that's the technique but uh, that's what I'm thinking is what's going on here and then if you have uh, you know I, I don't know if it's oh oops if you let's see if I paint this you know if you don't have the scatter effect you won't have any of those flowers and they'll kind of look like just like these you know things floating there but it's kind of a cool technique, right? And you make really, really interesting shapes. And what's really cool about it is it doesn't cost you a prop limit at all. Zero. <laughs> Zero prop limit um, you know, against you. It's just, uh, it's just terrain. And usually people's terrain uh, costs aren't, uh, you know, aren't what they're butting heads up against. So I'm very curious how this side of the circle ended up being really, uh, let's see if I can get a better angle. This side of the circle into being different from that one. How this one's like open and then that one has like the center. Um, I don't think I moved my cursor at all, but maybe I did. Anyway, I think it's, that's kind of the witchcraft that is happening here um, with that thing. But that was really, really sweet. Uh, really, really cool. We started off very strong. Um, so other people in their remixes is gonna have a lot to live up to, I think. <laughs> Yes, cool beans. That is the that is the the phrase of the day. I think, cool beans. So very well done, Project Sparker. Very cool. And hopefully the volume was good on the the recording too. I know sometimes it that uh, doesn't go super great um, on our side. So go back to Pine Forest. Oh, and, and chat, please warn me if there's remixes of remixes this time. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be looking for that this time, so let me know. All right, next one up is Roots by Combative Quill. Um, let's see here. So added a start of a story. Didn't exactly finish what I wanted to. That's fine. More details on changes made can be found in the patch notes section of the menu. Uh, Rosal Rosalind has journeyed to the uh, Camer excuse me, uh, Cameron Mountains to find a magical spring, the waters of which could save her dying brother locate the spring while collecting ginger roots and avoiding traps along the way um cool i think i can do that so we're, we're playing as rosalind i always like that name actually rosalind i think it's a character on downton abbey and that's like a great show uh no spoilers i'm in the middle of watching the sixth season because it's live here although i think it previously aired uh oh that was creepy um aired in the uk <laughs> There's nothing. That thing is creepy. And it's like an elephant. Nothing. So you got these different clips, glimpses here. I want to watch the whole thing if I can. <laughs> until I, I 
something, anything. Perhaps the mountain. Ah, oh, that's a cool view right there. I think that tunnel's new. I don't remember the tunnel cutting through. <laughs> Roots. Nice. Okay, patch notes. Let's look at that. Um, alter. This is the. This is really, really cool. I love this. This is nice. Um, and I'm assuming you can. Yeah, you can open these up. Okay, that is really cool. Awesome. Just on the patch notes. I'm. A, I, I'm a, such a huge fan of good UI. I just think that's so interesting. Um. Okay, patch notes, altered. So we, the game premise was altered, treasure chest code, um, okay. And it was using multi-brain, added the intro sequence menu, menu, elevation controlled weather effects. Yep, because it's raining, some light bulbs, mountainous backdrop. Okay, awesome. Removed all extraneous characters, many trees. Yeah, you gotta do some trees so you can uh, help with the prop count, the day and night, weapons and instruction sign. Replace day and night cycle, the box guy. Conquer character with custom protagonist. Nice. This is those were like the really really cool um, patch notes. I I love that. All right, new game. Move, run, sprint, jump. I think I can figure that out. The one that will throw you people off is like the interact not being B. What's the difference between run and a sprint? I'm not sure. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so I'm Rosalind. Hey, Roslyn. Okay, so we're looking. Oh, wow, you go pretty slow. Oh, okay, so that's like, so you walk very slow and you have a stamina bar. So that's, that is going to be a very important part of this. Um, wow, this environment feels very different from uh, the one that Rapture had. So there, I think that's the mountain track, the backdrop that's kind of circling around us here. So it's almost like a moat. So we don't feel like we're in the middle of the ocean anymore. Okay. Uh, let's let's sprint. Let's do it. Let's go up to this troll thing. See if we can interact with it. Can we do anything with you? Doesn't look like it. This camera setup's different. It's not um, it's not your stand. It doesn't feel like the standard uh, follow camera um, controls. And we're definitely closer. Um, maybe I'm just losing it, but it definitely feels different. Like it's been played around with. Okay, let's see if we can find some of those, the ginger. I do love a good dodge roll. Thanks for saying that. Uh, oh, bear trap, let's see. Oh, yep. I wanted to see if it actually did something. That was totally intentional. Uh, let's see if I can find a, a ginger patch. And I know we, we gotta find the magical spring. It's cool, so I'm glad to see that this time around, um, you know, some gameplay was being inspired with uh, our pick of the week um, being, you know, Pine Forest because that was kind of my goal, um, picking something that was already very much aesthetic aesthetically and had art and stuff. Um, so I think I just did a loop. I might have just done a loop. Uh, unless this is this a magical spring? Probably not. Nope, there's no way. I do have a jump. Uh, hey, here we go. Hey there. Okay, cool. And you got these like cinematic things. It's right up these stairs. Okay. I can do that. I can follow these. Okay, and it's in the mountain. Thanks. And I appreciate the the whole camera um, swivel is really nice. You probably, you didn't have to necessarily go all the way up the mountain like that, but it's also, you know, obviously it proves that the spring is there. But at least showing where I need to go next um, is obviously a good, in, you know, indicator to the player. I'm gonna, this is like my, what is it? When you're, you know, all the stairs or whatever, it's kind of like my trial to prove if I've earned it. You have to walk up so many stairs. Go up here. Go, go. Da, da, da. Whoa, look at this elf. That's cool. That looks really nice. I like the cape. 
Eul Eulonix. I don't know how to say that. Xanix. I'm not even going to try to say that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the timing of the, the dialogue is really good. It's like just enough time to read it, but not feel like you're, you're waiting too long. <laughs> that was cool. I like that. <laughs> and with that, I ran out of time. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let me uh, let's go in here and look at just a flyby through the camera. Just so I, I didn't get a good look at the entire environment. So let's fly around and see what else was changed. I think my favorite, honestly, my favorite part of that was the patch note thing. I love the expandable areas. <laughs> I guess I should have tried and expand all of them at the same time to see if that, like, broke what the display looked like. So you got, yeah, so you got the whole mountain backdrop over here. And you still got the, um, you know, it's not everywhere, but it's, like, quite a huge area. That's a lot of different terrain and still interesting done there's even like all these painting with the different flowers and stuff so I mean that took a lot of work that's no question that takes some time uh ooh, you got, we got this building here in the back um kind of a scope hey yeah, you got the crazy um demon guy i wanted to i want to find out what happens after i want to find out i was your brother i, I want to see that get continued that was awesome so the, here's that natural this path that it took me on um, right here. So that was good. I kind of, you know, I just really stumbled upon it and, and didn't even really think about where as I was going. I was going to the right place. So that, that tells you something that, that that worked out really well. Um, I didn't find a ginger root at all. I'm assuming if I maybe had gone the other direction, it would have been a little bit more obvious. Here's like this tree that you got to cross. Um, that was probably in the original, but I'm not sure, to be honest. And... Yep, so here's the... Oh, cool! So we, if you remember, um, this was that bridge that I passed before, and so they turned this little spot into the spring um, right here. How long does it take for for um, uploads to appear? Not long at all. It does not take two hours and 43 minutes, as other people are proposing. Uh, they're, you know, putting forward. It is, uh, takes probably, like, less than a minute for it to show up in the feeds, uh, as long as everything's working okay. Um, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit longer, I guess, but not really. Maybe at the most five minutes for certain feeds to update, but that's about it. Cave's cool. But yeah, really well done. Um, I like this, uh, this new skybox, the sky, uh, the bog. Um, it's really very interesting, yeah, because it, it doesn't feel super boggy. It's more about having, like, that layer of the atmospheric fog on it. Um, right, with the bog, I always kind of think there's going to be this, like, immediate greenish kind of effect, and I didn't feel that here at all when I played through it. It's more of this, like, um, I don't know. I guess it's kind of, uh, faintly green, but it's a way more white than anything. So, yeah. That was very sweet. Very cool. And I love the, you got the snow effect here, and I think there's rain over here, too, somewhere. Um, it might have not have started yet, but definitely noticed it in the intro. Cool. Alright, well done. And let's head on up back to the original, check out the lineage. And I gotta get going if we're gonna get through all of these. Uh, yeah, and at the end, if I if I missed one, um, tell me. Or if like the new upload didn't show up for some reason, uh, just let me know. I'll go out of my way to play it. All right, deforestation the game. Let's do it. Loose the stew. And a leaderboard, all right. Hopefully, let's see how I can do on this. Uh, for Thursday Remix Stream, add a full game, cut down as many trees as you can in five minutes and get the high score. All right, we're gonna play this for five minutes. Uh, two different power-ups, and then I miss the rest. 
very cool title screen. Uh, that looks how I'm assuming that's an image because everything is too still. But the and then the, I think deforestation is also an image because it was separate and faded in. So that was cool. That's a very interesting. That's a tough image to capture from Spark and then like cut it out that way. That's what I'm thinking. Hi, Choppy Bob. Look at this beautiful island we've been sent to. Okay, that's enough loafing <laughs> already. Uh, there's a profit to be made, and there we go. All right. I would have. I think I would have liked to press A to continue there, because um, I obviously was missing a whole bunch of that. Uh, all right, time to chop. I, I read on the forums that you want to start with big trees. Ooh, okay. And I think that's a power up. So I think that helps me cut through different things. Sorry, so your whole, your whole tree now is just getting just taken out completely. Can I do that one? No. How about this one? Are these are these maybe small trees? I'm not sure. Uh, that some there's some big trees over here. Let's get the big trees. Yes, chat is also telling me bigger trees. We'll only get picky and we'll do uh, the smaller trees after. I have no idea how you're supposed to get like a score of like four thousand though. Uh, Obviously, uh, Lucy's do the cheater. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to time these swipes perfectly so they uh, hit like more than one tree at once, like that. It's kind of a decent strategy, I think. But I think these power ups is, is what I'm after. I think it, it increases my. Oh, that one doesn't work. Uh, do I have a sprint ability or anything? Uh, none of the triggers do anything, so I guess not. This is a big tree. Cut the tree! So we're taking now this beautiful island uh, that was made and we're just totally destroying it. Um, it is called de Deforestation the Game. <laughs> I missed the power up! Hopefully I, I got it. Oh! Well, I'm back here. Oop. So hopefully that was it. Good timing on that. Uh, drop. This tree is pretty good too. No power up there. As far as I know. Hopefully I didn't miss it. Uh, hopefully I'm not cutting myself into a corner here, right? <laughs> Where I have to, you don't want it. You want to continually cutting in the more time that you spend walking around. Oh, cool, that was a speed boost, nice. I think some of these trees are a lot faster for me now. This seems like a decently sized one. This is a small one that was probably a waste of time. Oh! That one was kind of funny how that turned out. And the topper's still on it. Uh, let's, no? Okay. This is probably the bad strategy now where I'm settling to cut everything that's just close to me. Hey look, there's uh, some scale in there. There's a floating scale in the sky. <laughs> a framing, I wonder what that's for. That's probably for the camera shot um, uh, for the game. Okay, there's the hunter camp. Uh, that's where I met that guy. So that was like my spawn point. I didn't even recognize that at first being the same. So this must be my... Ugh, dang it, that was such a waste of time. We've had wildly different remixes so far. I love it. Like this one is not anything. This was actually, I, I thought somebody might do something like this. After I thought somebody would do a gameplay around like the treasure chest collecting and like augmenting that and how, how that plays, I definitely thought somebody would do something like with the trees itself, some kind of like chop them down. Um, ooh, collect, collect me. Um, power up, I mean. Uh, but you know, I, I definitely thought somebody would go that direction. So I'm really glad to see 
that. Of course, this is way more well done. Um, you guys always surprise me, of course. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do okay on the leaderboard. Oh, I broke a thousand. That was like my goal. I think that put, definitely puts me in the top ten. Oh, this was a, this was a, this patch here I'm at was totally worth it to go to. <laughs> Unless almost out of <laughs> almost out of time. Less less uh less talking, more cutting. Oh, I hope I got that. 23, yeah, you see that last 200 I made was way faster than anything else. So that was really cool. Boop. How am I on the leaderboard? Fourth? Yeah, tell me about it. Um, Ancient Clown, you know, if you want if you want to talk, you need to, uh, <laughs> you need to uh, get your own name up there on the leaderboard. Let's see if you're on here. <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> uh, all right, so really cool job, Lucis dude. That was pretty awesome. Um, let's uh, let's do the flyover too. I think their mount, the whole environment, might have been cut because it would have been like too big. I don't think you could have cut all those different trees. So I'm curious on um, how much we eliminated for that. Um, how many uh, 20 few viewers is that a record? <laughs> uh, maybe recently. I don't know. Most of the most of the views come on YouTube after. Um, believe it or not. So no, the the island is the the same. So I just needed to to get over there. Apparently, I just wasn't moving fast enough. I I figured I was uh, the island was smaller. But so here's here's that framing that floats in the sky. Yep. See, I think this was the the nice picture of deforestation like this. Doop. Just like that. You go right on top of this camera. Doop. And, you know, I am kind of curious. Let's see if I can go find this real quick. I, I like to kind of dissect these a little bit. Um, nope, so that picture had, um, huh. It had the title on it. But I think what happens is the camera is the actual scene and then it comes on top of it with the title so he didn't have to actually cut it out he just layered the title that he built in the picture on top of the actual scene that was here that's very clever uh very clever i I'd imagine it could be a lot of work if um you wanted to end up changing something you have to go back and make sure the image reflects what you changed so it like lines up exactly but that's really cool um but man i should have got oh, these trees are huge i should have gotten over here uh, strategy for everybody. Um, now you can think about that and plan your route better than I did. Yeah, I didn't get very much further than like right here. This is like where I was the whole time. You just kind of have to really get back over there. Interesting. That was awesome. I like the title thing too. I've never thought about doing a title like that. So I think everybody just learned something just from looking at that. All right, back to the original and on to the fourth remix. This is by Paradox Moo Moose, um, constant participator in these things. Uh, change a small portion of level as proof of concept. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what your proof of concept is. Uh, you didn't leave me that much. Now you were collaborating to troll me um, last week, so I hope nobody's trolling me this week again. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so we got dropped off here. Obviously, skybox change, and you have this really, really sweet uh, lighted up water. Um, and I don't think I have very much other places to go besides like into that stream. Um, hopefully, I'll be directed here to see everything <laughs> um, that I need to see. Let's go. Yeah, that's a nice effect. I'm curious if uh, light bulbs are at use or if it's just terrain with an emissive. It might just be terrain with an emissive. Um, I'm thinking that there's some light bulbs. Uh, you can see how there's this radiant light, so there's probably light bulbs there too. Uh, let's, let's go in here and see if we can find anything. Oh, the treasure chest is still here. Cool. There we go. Da -na -na. 
Yeah, I'd, uh, <laughs> I know people want to rickroll me. Uh, granted, uh, like last week in the rickroll that happened, I actually had to cut it out of YouTube um, because it threw up like copyright flags and stuff. <laughs> so you don't really want to do that. To or there's there's good ways to do it, but uh, doing a copyrighted song is not necessarily the best way. <laughs> uh, cool. Is that is that what I'm looking at here? Um, somebody let me know if I'm supposed to see anything else besides this uh, lighted up river, um, which has obviously a really cool effect. Um, I'll walk around a little bit more. Okay, and I was told by chat that yes, that is it. Uh, let's take a quick peek at edit mode. Um, so yes, you do got some light bulbs at effect here. And this is really pretty in. Oof! Not, <laughs> like, there's a few light bulbs. Holy mackerel. That is like a crazy amount of light bulbs. So now my question is this. Is it the light bulbs that are actually changing this, like just, you know, doing this color? Or I'm assuming there's also some terrain paint action going on here. Um, eh, not so much, not so much. I thought wrong on this. Uh, okay, what terrain is this? It does have, it looks like it does have its emissive though. I think it's this one. Uh, paint, I guess correctly. If I go over here and just drop this paint yeah, it does have its uh, emissive. Um, obviously, though, even with that emissive, it doesn't stand get super, super bright uh, underneath. So you do kind of need those light bulbs. Um, you can see once it once it's above the water here, like on this rim, it, it is naturally brighter immediately because it's not underneath that water. <laughs> All right. We'll move on. I'm, I know some people are like, my eyes, because uh, it's pretty bright. But I think it's actually very cool looking. Um, and it kind of is like a river. Like, it's like almost, I think, like kind of Hades-ish. Or, you know, the river, I think it's the river Styx, um, if I remember my Greek mythology, where you, you know, follow the river and there's, like, souls in it. Um, so that's awesome. I would have not expected people to go that direction um, with this. So that was a... Uh, very cool proof of concept. Um, I could love to see like the whole the whole area, you know, kind of done in that manner, throwing that fog around and certain lighting and stuff. Wow, you got all these lights up here too to get that like faint glow further out. It's awesome, and I love uh, the way it bounces up on these these trees too from the bottom. It's just a whole different lighting perspective. Well done. Looks cool. All right. Uh, no, that is not what I wanted to do. Oops. <laughs> I'd love, I, I just gave feedback in video form. I didn't need to, to discuss it on the forums right now. That's what that button's for, by the way. It doesn't get used enough. <laughs> uh, alright. Uh, next one is Kevahern. Pine Forest Remix. I started a story. Awesome. Pretty, uh, I'm excited to see this story that you started, but that's about all I know going into this. <laughs> Let's do it. I got my Project Spark on shirt today too. Oh, there's like this lighthouse thing on top. Or a beacon, I guess. You can think of it that way. I love that thing on top. And you gotta build some buildings now. Nice. Oh, cool. Okay. Very nice ship. I like it. You got your little canopy on there protect you from the sun on <laughs> the confetti why have you come to my beautiful island uh, I don't know why let's find out I've come here to the trade that's why I've come here are you the leader here but well, she said my island I will not allow my beautiful island to be polluted with filthy outsiders um, I don't plan to move in I just want to meet the people here and start trading with them uh, I will make this island ugly until you leave the people here will make you leave no. Okay, so there's like no color. Um, so immediately there's like a visual filter. So that's interesting. Um, I'm curious if there was like also prop changes or if it was just the, the visual filter change. <laughs> I was told this is short and boring by the creator himself. Uh, yeah. Um, 
I'm assuming this is the tavern. What? First of all, this is awesome so far, so. Oh boy, here we go again. You have to leave the island. She will have, she will have make, uh, she will just make things worse until you are gone. Uh, who is she? Uh, she calls herself the queen. She is, she was here when we found this island. She's some kind of woodland spirit. As you can see, she has some strong, um, some strong magic. I would have, you know what I would love to see? So if it's like a woodland spirit, uh, there is the, uh, level, oh, what are those called? Now I'm gonna be, they're, um, from Skyrim. Uh, they're like the woodland spirits and they're spr uh, sp 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 uh, spriggers. Um, there's something like that. It's called like that. But there's this character model that's a, a, one of those. And out of, that would have been cool to replace the, the queen with like this woodland spirit. Um, I think that would have made a lot of sense. Why does she want me to leave and want me to stay here? She thinks we humans are dirty and not worthy of living on her beautiful island. But I think she's a bit bored and just lets us stay to entertain her. Oh, okay. Uh, don't you want to be able to trade? Sure, we would love that, but it's, if not, makes the queen turn the island dark and dreary. Maybe I can talk to her. She only talks to Betty. But okay, where's Betty? That makes sense. It's a logical response. Springins, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Betty lives in the house behind this tavern. If things don't go back to normal soon, we're going to make you leave. Uh, okay, well, I hope you don't make me leave. This is so cool. It's short and boring. You guys are crazy. Uh, the, cre the creator's crazy for saying that. Um, is there a back door? Uh, can I go through the window? Because I always think that's a fun way to exit. I wonder if, uh, I'm pretty sure if I remember, Kevin Hearn also made that crazy door um, that I remember in a creation. Oh, hey. And this change of, uh, change of skybox here. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I'm gonna have to go through some crazy door at some point with the locking mechanism. Pretty sure that was a Kevin creation. Betty! Hey, Bet Betty! Do you mind if I call you Bets? I, I would say welcome, but I'm sure you don't feel welcomed. You must be Betty. I've been told that, that the queen talks to you. Uh, this is as far as Kev got with the story. I hope you like it so far. <laughs> Very interesting commentary, uh, Betty. <laughs> You know, and that's like totally okay. I think, uh, I mean, anything longer, it's hard for us to fit on the stream anyway, um, right? We're already uh, put, you know, we're getting already closer and I, I'm making, I will play every remix uh, before I get there. Whoa, we're just, are we randomly changing skyboxes now? I think that is what's happening. Hey, it's kind of pretty right there. Oh, now it's not. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, no, that's great, that's cool. Uh, And is there anything else I'm missing? Uh, let's jump into edit real quick. Uh, let's get a closer look. I was curious on this peak here. How the, yeah, oh, that's the glacier sword all put together. That looks really nice. That's pretty sweet. And then you have uh, this whole thing should be yeah, together. Unglue. I already say we're hurting for time and I'm already just picking apart this stuff, but I don't care. <laughs> I like to look at all these creations. Um, that is a very neat way of using the Glacier Blade. I would have never thought that. Um, I was thinking as Kodite from far away. Uh, that looks really nice. Awesome. You got the two little the towns here, so. Ah, I'm looking forward to that. That's a cool story. Um, that's also something that should be continued on. Uh, I uh, and the tavern looked really nice. Short. It was, a, it was a little short, but not too short for uh, for this at all, by any stretch of the imagination. And look at the little fishy. Now he's he's wiggling around um, until he gets frozen at the very beginning. Oh, maybe he was actually moving. I guess not. Oh, it's because he's a glue, part of this glued object. Nice. All right. Oh, yeah, and this was... Uh, was this from this reminds me of the table that the old man sat in your uh, dgj creation and there is this thing on the wall too and you could see your ship out the window which that ship was probably this ship now i think about it uh so clever i think that's clever if you were able to utilize some different assets um from your dgj uh creation that's pretty cool all right yes is that one of the singing fish it looks like it <laughs> All right, uh, don't wanna do that. Um, pine, forest. 
and again, go to the original. Uh, I'm always gonna be finding it through the lineage tab. Okay. But man, I gotta get going. I'm way behind on this. Gree me Medic. Okay, I'm gonna be trying to go a little bit faster. Um, my ideas for a uh, bushfire, helicopter rescue, and spaceship alien abduction failed. Uh, that's pretty intense already. I looked and there's only one game so I quickly made a game. Well, that's not true. There's a lot more now. Um, uh, so I quickly made a game with the character that I've been working on. It was done in four or five hours, so don't expect anything great. Four or five hours is a good chunk of time. Uh, I just thought it'd be better than watching Thomas Crate for an hour. It is definitely better than Thomas watching Thomas Crate for an hour. Uh, those aren't that fun compared to this. Yep, it is the same ship in the same tavern in Keverhorn's creation. Glad I got that right. Boom! I'm on top of something today, anyway. All right, mission. The Sky Pirates have hijacked a convoy and are stealing the cargo. Go deal with them. Keep on the path. This character is sweet. Look at the spiky hair and the headphones. That's awesome. Uh, yep, and he got the beverage bottle. Hey, we talked about this uh, this little trick um, in the last stream about how quick, how awesome it looks when you quickly move uh, holding the beverage bottle. Hey, this is the wrong path. Follow the other path. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't know if I should trust that. But I, I guess I will do it. Um, greedy medic's the one I'm most worried about. Um, <laughs> about trolling me at this point. Uh, finish the beer and get ready for battle. Uh, okay. Um, uh, got it. Here we go done and we're ready to go yeah that's kind of cool actually I like that and you got this nice camera pane whoa that thing's you got a truck in this like air thing what whoa that's a pretty sweet flamethrower and I like the scoundrel backpack this whole intro is cool. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to take these guys. Uh, the Sky Pirates, all right. I like all the different, those are all really cool different characters. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, that's right, I got like Molotovs, uh, and then I can shoot. I think I can get you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. That's awesome. Obviously, there's a lot like to do that could be added here with like, you know, different weapons and ammo counter and kind of a lock-on system. Uh, but it's I love the character models and the art, and they're all these guys are all interesting and unique enemies, uh, which is something that I think a lot of people neglect, so I think that's really cool, especially if it's the start of a, like a new creation that you're you're thinking about working on, the Sky Pirates. Uh, and we're gonna have to take a quick look at the, the ship here too. Uh, this kind of has a nice auto-aim, uh, which helps a lot. Okay, I don't know what happens after I kill the last guy, so let's take a look at this real quick. I love, love the bell. Yeah, I am checking out the airship. Oh, I did kill that guy. Okay, cool. Hey, he let me, let me have time to look at the airship. Uh, I almost fell. Uh, love the the dragon head there with the steering wheel at the front. Very awesome. I love it. I like the with the different straw and woodland. Like, you know, it's just I think that's very characteristic and and looks very authentic to Spark in a way. It kind of reminds me of the Goblin Mech from E3. Uh, is there a boss in this thing? Am I supposed to see something else that I haven't reached yet? Uh, love the truck. This truck is awesome. This is like one of my favorite trucks I've seen. Um, not that I've seen very many trucks, but this style of truck is really, really good. Um, I think there's a little bit of this sh the cell shading just on it helps a lot too. Um, I don't think there's cell shading on everything, but on the truck it looks like there is. It looks really nice. Okay, go to the ramp. Uh, this ramp? No, I, that can't be it, right? Um, I came from that direction. All right, go back to the ship. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the ship. Oh, okay. I'm glad that actually worked. I'm surprised I didn't trigger it before. Uh, now you will play. Oh, this is the boss. 
Okay, I will create a new. Uh, you will pay. Man, that thing is pretty creepy. This is awesome. Oh, I'm like drawing cocktail cocktails at myself. Okay. Uh. Um. Yes. Yes. I figured out the ramp. <laughs> uh. Oh, and he has a little spinny attack. That's nice. His little dangly arms. They're so kind of. They're they're awesome. And he's just he's sitting in the little cockpit. These are great for this is a great uh, idea for a boss, um, right? With the the mechanical. Uh, oh. Now, do you have a health bar? Oh, he does. Okay, I'm I'm doing good work on him. He's not too much of a challenge. I think the other. Yeah, there you go. Mission complete. Oh yeah. Nicely done. That was awesome. That was really cool. Uh, very good art. Like, uh, love the aesthetics in the art. Um, again, like the different character models and stuff. Those are very cool. And newbie re uh, reaper. All right. Um, why? Cause the live stream told me so. I decided, man, let me merge this game with my first Project Spark game concept, and the result was pretty neat. Be sure to check out the original one for this, and drop the original creator a like. I'm assuming that's you. Uh, this world was a lot of fun when I touched before, and it was beautiful before. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I believe this was made. His, uh, the creation he's talking about was made for uh, the first game jam. Um, was it the Let's Get Primitive? Um, I think that's what. It, um, awesome. So it's the same same map, but everything's gotten changed around uh, to match that aesthetic. And I have one out of 20, so I'm assuming there's still things to collect. Uh, not sure which. Let's go find what those will be. Oh, those are cool. That's a really neat idea for, like, flowers. And you got the stump there and different bushes. I'm curious on how heavy uh, prop count this gets. If this is, is actually save prop count um, before or... Uh, oh, the cave's cool, too. Um, was more or less. Oh, okay, here's one. That's what I'm looking for. Do, 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 do. See if I can find a couple more. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And then you get the um, water. So it's interesting, the right, that there's um, the choice for no waterfall uh, effect. And I'm assuming that's because just that look would be too different. Go over here. Yeah, this is so dramatically different. Um, I love it. He's, he's maxed <laughs> big time on the prop count. Okay. I kind of figured that would probably end up being the case. Um, these are, I like these collectibles that they're kind of easy to see from a far distance and they obviously are a very different color from everything else so they stand out. Ha! Huh. I can still get in the water though. What? This is like a, this must be a huge um, block. Yeah, you can see the change right there. I'm cheating a little bit. So you can see how big uh, that piece is, which is like a thin primitive, as big as it can go. Um, I like to watch it as like the whole ocean is like that, so that's pretty crazy. It's a lot of dedication to make sure it looks all right. Wow, these are incredible. Stop. Yeah, this looks great. This is awesome. Oh, and the campsite. We gotta go take a look at the campsite. Um, and how that got changed. Uh -huh. The little fire and the sticks. That's awesome. He does got a light bulb there. Brand room. And a little canopy. This is really cool. I love this. I love like the, the the primitifying of it. It's the first time anybody's tried to do that in our, on our remix streams. Um, I do have a world picked, actually. Um, so I will get to that. Obviously, we're um, going to go over today. We're probably going to be at least another half hour because of how many I still got to look at. But yeah, this is awesome. Uh, let's take a quick uh, flyover. Look at all those names. Whoa. Oh, okay. Um, let me, no, not that, uh, options, game settings, uh, we can't see anything with that on right now. Okay, 
There we go. We can actually appreciate this now. Whoa! Yeah, this looks awesome. Even, you know, the flyover too. The same, that same world, but totally primified. Wow, that looks great. I'll see ya, Kevin Hearn. Thanks for uh, joining in your remix was awesome. And these are the collectible cubes, nice. Yeah, this was really cool. I, the, I, the water, then the idea for the water uh, turned out really great. Um, oh, I missed, I missed this guy. I missed the cute little snowman um, with the sh sword and shield. I've never seen a snow snowman with the sword and shield before that, or I guess a spear, spear and, sh and shield. Does he have any logic? Does he talk? Play some sound. Okay, cool. That's awesome. I'm sure there's other things I missed, uh, but in these like little boulder spheres, oh, so cool. Yep, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this. That was this is awesome. All right, and up. And, oh, Project Sparker, it looks like, is heading out, too. I'll see you later. Your re remix is also super awesome. Um, all right, Beefcake Pie, let's do it. Uh, just playing around with positioning. Okay, I'm curious on what that's going to turn out to be. Playing with positioning. Hmm, what does that mean? I don't know. I gave a shout-out to that I gave a shout out to project and that was even before I saw this in chat <laughs> uh, okay so there's a flying camera I can do this and then I can do oh. oh so everything that could be moved uh, is slowly incrementing I just think their Y position but it's like for all objects that's me. Boom, and it crashes all down like that. That was cool. Do it again. And drop. 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 This is too much fun, actually. Boop. Hey, look. Those were hay bales making into the little flower patches. Those were cool. I didn't even notice that. You can see them now. Hay bales. Drop. Treasure chest, drop. This is really, really fun. Uh, hey, what is that thing? Uh, what is that over there? Are those just desert rocks? I don't know, drop. Let's see if there's anything hidden over there. Ferns, another more rocks. I think, do they come up at different rates? I think some of them look, move faster than others. Drop. This is addicting, I could just do this. It's like, you feel, yeah. Somebody is like, you feel like a god. <laughs> it's kind of true. <laughs> uh, yep. I'd love a shockwave effect too, like when these drop. Like maybe, but that might uh, performance wise like hurt the game. Boom. Sometimes it recorrects my camera up. So I'm not, when I, that randomly happens, I'm not trying to do it intentionally. Boom. Yep, this is awesome. Somebody needs to figure out a way to make a game. Yeah, there's this <laughs> the campfire with the smoke trail going through. I love that. And, like taking off. It's taking off and crash. And you can see the trail going back. That was awesome. Exit. That was a really cool idea, Beefcake Buy. Uh, very unique and very different. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I guess there could have been music playing. I would have no idea if that was the case. <laughs> um, all right, that was really sweet. I'm trying to think of how you would make a you know a full game off of that mechanic like that. But um, oh, you, yeah, I wonder, huh? I'd be curious on how you could do that, right? So people were saying that you could like wait to um, leave. Um, 
uh, you know, wait to like as high as possible and then drop it. Maybe you, there's like a score or something that happens. I don't know. Um, that was awesome. So that was by Beefcake Pie. And looks like we got just one more, unless the the one hasn't been uploaded yet that some that got mentioned in chat. So let me know about that one. Um, I I have until this one more. So this is by Ravenfather. Let's do it. Um, Pine Forest 1.1, working on terrain eruption, may not work underwater. Oh, okay, let's try it. So I'm assuming, does my character have like an ability to, er to mess with terrain then? Or, uh, or is it gonna be, uh, I think El Perplexo had that volcano level, right? Where they turned the, to the mountain into a volcano and blew it up, that was awesome. Uh, Forest of Languish. I'm not surprised. The immediate, like, red and everything, it screams Raven Father. <laughs> okay, and yep, we're using the same that thing. Let's look, uh, the same UI that we've seen. Okay. okay. Map. That's cool for image importing. It's interesting. This image was made with the PC with the help of SparkShare. Go to uh, productspark.com to find more how that works. Uh, it's actually uh, um, that uh, address is wrong. So you could go to productspark.com if there was no hyphen in it. Um, we have some stuff posted about SparkShare. And then SparkShare's site is actually projectspark.ch um, if you want to download and register for it. But yes, um, it's obviously very cool. That's. Uh, I'm curious on reading and seeing all that. I like the handwriting in that. I'm assuming that's yours. <laughs> oh, I remember something about Crystal. Okay. Crystal. Discharge Crystal into expanding power, arc contracting power. Uh, expanding force. I don't know what that means. Okay, and there's the camp, and then there's a ton of notes around too. I love it. This is like all the like the um, code of Kalor stuff. There's another one. Yep. The light goes into the Mobius vortex and comes out as scattered fragments on the infinite black. The universe is both of these yin yang and a circle of symbols. This concept is identical. Income becomes out. Out becomes in. Yesterday, the moment is in. Tomorrow. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. Wow. And let's see what this one does. Yes. And then there, the the code. Um, so code of color is based around like having a bunch of code concepts also explained in um, different things. So even like talking about Spark Share, um, which is awesome. Uh, let's look around. Uh, there's a troll there. I'd, I'd rather avoid it if there is the troll. Um, okay, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I need to... Oh! I don't think it liked me jumping from that high of a height. I have no idea if... Uh, did Raven Father write that or not? Um, I'm not sure where it came from. Which I'm assuming he did. Yeah, I think I'm on the right track now. Um, as far as... Uh, ooh, even more. Okay. Um, the idea of the fire world, which I most conveys, is that is the final point deep within. That's interesting with the combination of, like, there's types, but then you can, like, see where there's, like, pen on it. Um, which is just so different. Okay. Point deep within itself. Its final point is where the forms of all that it will be destroyed and to be given power to form. And then you have like the way that you have like there's certain whites and stuff like white spots in it that's just like a really cool deforming like deforming of text um however you uh however you do that on whatever like editing shop like stuff it looks really cool um like i can see that it's mainly in like the little circles of different letters and stuff but and this lies the essence of being becoming and yet to be the three of them are the one the uh the weavers of wired fate huh 
yeah, if you guys are expecting it to make sense, um, you'll be, you'll definitely have not know, not know what's going on. <laughs> uh, here's a crystal. Cool. And let's see what this one says. You know, you thought you made it 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0.35, 0 0.0. Interesting. That sounds like a coordinate. Um, or, uh, you know, a different, some position. Okay, let's go, what is, oh, okay. What is going on with that? Uh, do you see this effect? That isn't like water. Is that like a drop shadow moving? Or is that water? No, it's water. But like, it's almost like dizzying because there's like, I don't under, I don't know how that was created like that. Huh. You're gonna have to explain that one. This one does the same thing. Looks like, is it the world, is it just the world water level doing that? I don't think I've ever seen it where it like, has that like blurring effect though. Da -da -da -da. And, oh, I can fly. I don't know how that even happened. I think I just crossed that bridge and was able to fly. Uh, and there is like a, obviously a stutter going on in different places. And that terrain just changed a different color. <laughs> to purple. Okay, let's go over here. See if we can find any more weird stuff I should find. Um, yes, I do, I did see the tide coming in and out. Um, oh, a little fishy. Hi, fishy. So yeah, the, the world water level is going up and down. I just have never seen that, um, the fading effect. Oh man, it does not, when I jump like that, it does not like that very much. I think there's a jump height. Okay, let's, uh, let's go up here. Got some red on the, the mountain here. It's a little concerning. Hey, you got the treasure chest still. Nice. Very cool. And I think that might be it, or at least from what I'm going to find right now. Um, unless I'm told to go somewhere else, but I think, yeah, you got the, still the treasure chest. It's, um, hopefully I didn't miss too much. I know I keep face planning all the time, <laughs> so sorry about that. There's the camp all the way back over there. Um, we can come down here. Check out over here. And, okay, there's the changing ground, and I think that's what we saw before, so. That was cool, that was awesome. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, there's always a, a lot to be discovered, and yeah, there's tons of different weapons. I think this is the whole uh, Code of Calor stuff getting brought in. And there's some interesting stuff with this tree. I don't know what happened here with this tree. I totally missed that. Um, all the different terrain paints. So this beach was extended here too, so I missed that point um, about this whole flat here, which uh, that didn't exist before. Um, at least not to my recollection. I don't think that it was out here like that. Um, apparently I missed a trigger uh, for bad guys. Uh, probably this thing, this big trigger box. So that would have spawned, I don't know where the, the logic cube is for it. Uh, here's that end. Is it this tree? Otteson. Okay, yeah, it looks like here. 
So it looks like that didn't trigger um, for one reason or another. Um, for this Yeti? Okay. Let's see if I can trigger this real quick. Uh, so it looks like I just gotta go through um, right here by the campfire. Forest of Languish. Do, 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 do. Okay. And we're just gonna make a beeline right for it. <laughs> who puts yeah who puts code in a tree uh well if you're saving on uh prop count i guess you could do that it does make it harder i think for people to remix um for the majority they would ex oh man i even do have that happen when i'm in a park um okay let's go here. okay so this is where i would expect it to happen okay so that that did trigger um i let's I don't see the Yeti. Yeti! But I didn't walk through, I had that trigger that happened without me uh, noticing it that those, those ripped up like that. That's cool. Yeah, sorry I um, didn't get to see the Yeti. Uh, um, you said that you worked on it for quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, I don't know why it's not spawning. Um, hopefully you'll be able to add it then in a, in a future stream. So speaking of which, I haven't seen anybody say I missed a level, so I think that's all of them. Um, you guys gotta let me know if that's not the case. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if we're gonna see this Yeti in, uh, here's this Yeti. So I'm assuming it has a bunch of custom mechanics. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to find that and play with it um, later too. Um, but anyway, so speaking of uh, you know an opportunity for next week, let's talk about that. So I'm already uh, uh, already been over like 20 minutes, which is crazy. This is a really long stream, but you guys had a lot of remixes, which is awesome. I love it. And I I took kind of slow about them. They were all pretty substantial. So, yep, that looks like all of the the meat, um, all the ones. There's just zero percent there. I'm not gonna look at. Uh, but there you go. That was awesome. Uh, very sweet collection of crazy off the wall different things. Um, a lot got uh, got offered. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Zephyls didn't miss them all because he's late. Um, so the creation that we are going to be looking at next week is da, da, da. let me search for it here it is archers Let's see if it'll pop pop with just archers it is so by melisto an archer's fantasy by melisto um and there's a lot of potential in this creation uh to remix um let me here i'll just go and remix it i won't play it you guys can play it yourself and see what it's like but premise is it's like a raft ride where your station your character stationary you can't control it but he goes along this path down the middle here, da -da -da -dum. And you have these little different checkpoints, and you're shooting different targets along the way as your as your character um, goes through. So here's your character; it's a first person, and there's these different targets, right? So you can see them here, and then there's apples and stuff on the tree. Um, but you're aiming at them as they go through, and so there's um, and it's very uh, very basic, um, but it kind of a cool premise and something we haven't seen uh, yet. I think there's room where if you want to, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of really cool things already happening with the aesthetics, um, but it's almost like a, you know, kind of th make you think of like a, you know, Disney ride or something, right? Um, where you kind of go through these different areas and you can try to theme them up, uh, dress up however you want um, aesthetically, uh, add new targets and keep it, you know, the gameplay relatively simple. You could add power-ups and bonuses and, you know, really f you make a full-fledged uh, scoring system out. Um, there is a score right now, but it's uh, uh, definitely a lot of things you could do there. But this is the creation that we are going to look at. So um, I'm really looking forward to see what the remix is coming that. And then I think here's the end. Yeah, you get to this and then uh, it displays the leaderboard and, you know, the your total score and everything. So uh, saw a lot of potential in this and looking forward to seeing where people take it. Um, it's also not a giant um, creation, so I think... Uh, uh, 
you know, you might be able to really uh, touch on a lot of different parts of this in a smaller amount of time. So I think that also makes it a really good candidate for this week. Um, let's back out here so everybody can see the name again. So the world we again we are doing is the Archer's Fantasy by Melisto. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, thank you so much to Rapture One and all the remixers this week. Uh, really well done. Pine Forest was awesome, and I think it inspired a lot of people. Uh, hoping to see the same with uh, Archer's Fantasy. And then another interesting thing that's going to change up. Uh, so you guys all want to really pay attention to this because it's really important. Um, next week. Uh, just due to stuff that I'm doing at work, I'm not able to do a Thursday stream, but we are still going to have one. Um, so Zfoles himself has volunteered to do a stream from 3 to 4. Um, it's going to be on the Project Spark community channel, and it's going to be the exact same thing. Uh, look at the original, the Archer's Fantasy, and play through all the community remixes. So uh, the only really difference is um z Foles is doing it um and if we're able to like figure out some way to broadcast it on the you know project spark channel um we may do that um but as of right now it looks like we're gonna do it on the project spark community channel um so excited you guys definitely should support z Foles and come by him um and it'll be three to four uh ideally um obviously if there's more remixes it'll go longer just like this week did so uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I think it'd actually be kind of fun to see how it goes with uh, the, um, you know, somebody from the community hosting that stream. Um, and if everything goes well and, you know, things are, uh, you know, kept, uh, kept uh, politically correct, I guess, <laughs> then we can upload it to, uh, to our YouTube channel too, uh, which would be pretty fun. So, uh, so yeah, um, I'm sure uh, you guys have the community channel um, Twitch uh, address like site for that um, if not I'll make sure to include it um, on dot com forums um, I'm sure someone will probably mention it in chat right now anyway but I think that about does it uh, again reminder 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow uh, we have a stream let's play creations uh, more developers game jam stuff uh, I haven't played yours yet there's probably a good chance uh, and if you're in the top 20 there's a good chance I'll be playing it uh, tomorrow uh, and it's always, I think, fun to see that feedback that's like immediate um, for people. Of course, most of the time, this isn't my this isn't my first time playing these creations now, but uh, there you go. So uh, there's that. And then also five o'clock tomorrow p.m. Uh, Pacific time, I am we're going to be announcing uh, the game jam winners, which is going to be very exciting, and I'm looking forward to that uh, and letting everybody know who our winners are. So, and I didn't want to wait anymore. I know, sorry if, you know, that time doesn't work out for you, but, you know, there's only 24 hours a day, and it's not going to work out for everybody, unfortunately. But uh, I wanted to make sure it was done this week, and at the end of Friday seems like a cool way to do it before going into a weekend. People have, you know, keeping people wait any longer. That doesn't seem that fair, so. <laughs> All right, um, there we go. Again, Archer's Fantasy, that's next week. And, um, and there's that. So, all right, I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Project Spark is where players create and creators play. What better way to be inspired than to see what's possible? This will surely spark your imagination. Now, how do we begin?